Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about tissues. A tissue is a group of similar cells and cell products that work together to perform a specific structural and physiological role in an organ. These tissues are organized into various types, each with distinct structures and function. Although there are many types of cells in our body, they are organized into four broad categories of tissues. These are epithelial tissue, connective tissue, nervous tissue, and muscular tissue. The tissues differ to each other by the type and function of the cells that make up the tissues. The tissues also differ by the characteristic of the matrix, which is really the substance that surrounds the cells and the amount of space occupied by the matrix versus the cell. So the ratio, essentially. Let's take a look at the features of the four primary types of tissues, beginning with epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue, for example, is composed of layers of closely spaced cells. So epithelial tissues are composed of cells that are packed tightly together. You can think of them as bricks on the wall. They contain minimal matrix. Epithelial tissues cover the body surfaces, so they actually make up your skin. They cover external and internal lining of organs. And because of this, they serve many roles. They serve for protection, secretion, excretion, filtration, and absorption, particularly in glands and the kidneys, for example, where they are found abundantly. Nervous tissue is a second type of tissue, which consists of neurons and supporting cells called glial cells in high numbers. Nerve cells really transmit signals and information to other cells. They serve as communicators, essentially, throughout our body. Muscular tissue are composed of elongated, excitable cells that are specialized for contraction and movement. They are not only responsible for movement, Muscle is also dependent for the process of digestion, moving food down your gastrointestinal tract, waste elimination, breathing, muscles to help you breathe, speech, and blood circulation. There are actually three types of muscle tissue. There are skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. Skeletal muscle is voluntary. There are muscles that help movement, so such as bending my arm. Cardiac and smooth muscles are involuntary. Cardiac muscles contract to pump blood out of the heart, and smooth muscles line up the blood vessels and our intestines to help move things down the pipe. Lastly is connective tissue. Connective tissue is much more complicated, I think. Connective tissue is a tissue that really connects or separates and supports all other types of tissues in our body. Like all other tissue types, it consists of cells surrounded by a compartment of fluid, the matrix. But in this case, we'd like to call it the extracellular matrix because they're outside the cell, remember. However, connective tissue differs from other types of tissue in that the cells are loosely rather than tightly packed within the extracellular matrix. Based on the cells present and the extracellular matrix structure, we differ two types of connective tissue. You can have connective tissue proper and specialized connective tissue. Now, there are many other types or ways that connective tissue can be categorized, but I think this is an easy way. So connective tissue proper can be further divided into loose connective tissue and dense connective tissue. Specialized connective tissue include blood, bone, and cartilage. The next level of organization after tissue are your organs, where several types of tissue come together to form a working unit. Two or more tissue types make up an organ, such as your spleen, your skin, and your heart.
So in summary, we have four types of tissues in our body. Epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue, and nervous tissue. We will delve into each type of tissues in separate videos. Thank you.